issues. Greetings, discreet defenders. Tonight we are going to test what looks to be specialized short barrel ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is the V-Crown ammunition that comes in the box marked 365, by which I take it that they have designed this ammunition to function out of the SIG P365. This is 115 grain standard pressure 9mm ammunition. The list velocity is 1,050 feet per second or 282 foot-pounds of energy. And again, that is going to be calibrated probably for a short, par a short barrel pistol like this one. This is not a P365. This is the Taurus GX4, which seems a little bit designed to look like a, C a SIG uh, P365. Definitely, com uh, definitely designed to compete against it. All right. Due to the cost of ammunition these days, I will attempt to shoot four of them. And if we get fairly consistent results, I'm just going to stick on four test rounds over the chronograph. Then we will switch to the ballistic gel portion of the test. Shooting from about five feet away. Thousand thirty eight. Thousand twenty one. Thousand forty nine. Error. Looks like I'm not going to get away with firing only four. Let's try one more round before we take an average. Thousand forty three. Review that quickly. High was a thousand forty nine, low was a thousand twenty one, and the average was a thousand thirty seven feet per second. Next, we'll switch to the gel block portion of the test and see how the, uh, the SIG V-Crown performs in the penetration and expansion dimensions out of the short barrel. All right, let's see if the SIG 365s, the short barrel version of the V-Crown, will live up to their billing out of a short barrel gun that's almost identical to a SIG P365, the Taurus GX4. We've got four layers of denim, 17 inch column of gel backed up by a water jug. And we are going to test them for expansion and penetration. Shooting five feet away. Well now, that is an interesting result. That is not at all what I was expecting. Clear expansion cavity in the first eight inches of the gel. However, we have over penetration. That thing, oh, no, it's... It appears to be inside the water jug. Let's see if we got expansion. You know it. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got expansion. 
perfect expansion. Not gigantic expansion, but on the other hand, I would say ideal expansion, considering the penetration results. All 17 inches of gel, and on into the water jug and denting the back. That's, I mean, it's equivalent of about 20 inches of penetration. Let's take a look at that wound track. Now, obviously the first, the first block is going to be the interesting part. And, uh, it looks to me like at its widest, that track is a little over an inch in diameter. And again, there's no corollary to human flesh. It's just kind of fun and interesting to look at that sort of thing and to contemplate on, uh, how much energy transfer there is in the first uh, first few inches of the target. All right, so that is the SIG 365 V Crown, which I found for $16 a box, a box of 20, at one of my local sporting goods stores. And uh, really, really good expansion. I believe, uh, I think, let me check if I brought the calipers. Yep, got the calipers. Now, re remember that these results are out of a really short barrel. Three, well, I guess the manual says three and, and, and one sixteenths, 3.06 inches. Try to find the widest spot there. It's not gigantic, but at the dead maximum, you are looking at a little over 50% expansion, 0.558, which is pretty good considering that uh, that passed the four layer denim test and ran out to the equivalent of nearly 20 inches of, of, uh, of ballistic gel. I gotta say, the SIG V Crown, uh, despite having an average muzzle energy of just 275 pounds seems to have passed the denim and gel test with flying colors thanks folks this is dave for ddr have a great week